Welcome to Med in 5 channel. The topic in discuss is alpha oxidation of fatty acids. Fatty acids are source of energy. Human organism burns fatty acids and provides energy. I will use the abbreviation FA for fatty acids and W for energy. There are three ways how human body burns fatty acids. Alpha oxidation, beta oxidation and omega oxidation. This depends on the carbon position. Here we have a long chain fatty acid. The purple highlight shows the functional group. The first carbon, near the functional group is named alpha carbon, according to the first letter of Greek alphabet. The second carbon near to the functional group, is named beta carbon. And the last carbon is omega carbon. Notice the arrows. I will name this long chain with the letter R. And then we'll add the beta carbon, alpha carbon and the functional group. This is a simple formula of a fatty acid. Let's focus on alpha oxidation. Alpha oxidation means burning the alpha carbon of fatty acid. The tissue where these reactions occur, isprin and neural cells, and specifically in microsomes, the organelle. Here it is a fatty acid with a specific number of carbons, it is used the abbreviation N. A water molecule enters the reaction and hydratase enzyme helps it to create a hydroxy group at alpha carbon. Now we have an alpha hydroxy fatty acid, with exact the same number of carbons. The next step is affected from NAD coenzyme and dehydrogenase enzyme, with the result of removing a hydrogen from the hydroxy group. A keto group will be formed and the substance is named alpha keto acid. The last reaction occurs from lyase enzyme, which removes the keto group, resulting in a shorter fatty acid, with one less carbon and energy release. The enzymes and their functions are as below. Reefsome disease is characterized from a hydroxylase enzyme deficiency. Clinically, it can be presented with Retinitis pigmentosa Peripheral neuropathy or ataxia The three of above have in common neural origin. Because alpha oxidation, occurs in neural cells. It has been seen a great improvement in the patients that avoid dairy products and ruminant fats in their diet. That was a brief summary of alpha oxidation, from Med in 5 team. Thanks for watching. For other videos like this, please click subscribe.